In an ever-connected world, the Middle East stands on the precipice of change, a volatile mix of politics, religion, and military might. The year 2024 marks a significant shift in this intricate dance, with events unfolding in a rapid, relentless pace. A week that began with tension escalated swiftly into a series of events that have started to reshape the geopolitical landscape of the Middle East. The Iran-backed Houthi rebels struck a U.S.-owned vessel in the Gulf of Aden, a second successful attack on a U.S. vessel in the same week. The ripple effect of this audacious assault has started to make waves, with insurers now refusing to cover American, British and Israeli vessels against war risks in the Red Sea. In the heart of this turmoil, Israel faces its own set of challenges. The Israeli military in a stark announcement, admitted that it cannot guarantee the delivery of medicine to hostages held in Gaza. However, it has pledged to work with Qatar to ensure that the much-needed aid reaches them. The statement from Israel's chief of the general staff further intensified the situation, stating that the likelihood of war on Israel's northern front is now much higher. Israel, he said, is increasing its readiness for fighting in Lebanon. The Israeli government in meetings with Secretary of State Antony Blinken did not link the return of Palestinian civilians to their homes in northern Gaza to the release of hostages held by Hamas. Meanwhile, a Hamas official acknowledged the agreement with Israel to allow medication into Gaza for Israeli hostages, but stated that it is dependent on there also being enough medication for Palestinians in the enclave. Adding to the dire situation, Gaza is experiencing the longest sustained internet disruption since the start of the war with Israel, with most residents unable to contact the outside world for over 120 hours. The Houthis have stated that they will continue their attacks on Israeli-linked vessels in the Red and Arabian Seas as long as the conflict in Gaza persists. In conclusion, the Middle East is in a state of flux with every action causing a reaction, every decision leading to a consequence. The Houthi attacks on U.S. vessels, the heightened readiness of Israel for a potential war, the precarious situation of hostages in Gaza, the refusal of insurers to cover war risks, and the longest internet disruption in Gaza are all pieces of a complex puzzle. These unfolding events are reshaping the Middle East, pushing it into an era of uncertainty. As the world watches and waits, the question remains, what will the next move be in this intricate geopolitical chess game?